EcoMove is an exciting new curriculum research project at the Harvard Graduate School of Education that uses immersive virtual environments to teach middle school students about ecosystems and causal patterns. It includes two computer-based modules, Pond and Forest, within a four-week inquiry-based ecosystems curriculum. Here we are in the Pond module. We can walk around the pond and see all the different plants and animals, like these ducks. The camera tool lets us take pictures, and saving the photo displays a virtual field guide with information about each of the organisms we find. We can also walk under the water to see the species living there. And using a virtual microsubmarine, we can shrink down and see the microscopic life in the pond at different levels of magnification. The environment around the pond includes features like a golf course, roads, and houses. Following this runoff pipe leads us to a drainage ditch near a new housing development where we meet a landscaper putting down fertilizer. Throughout the environment, on different days, we meet virtual characters like Manny, who may provide useful information. Back at the pond, the water measurement tools let us take various measurements of the water in the pond, such as phosphates and turbidity. Students can collect weather and population data as well. The calendar tool lets us travel through time in order to see how the pond has changed on different days. Here, it's raining. When we walk under the water, we can see how cloudy the water is. The turbidity is higher, and we can also take another measurement. The data view lets us see and compare data we've collected. The atom tracker tool lets us see what happens to atoms in the ecosystem over time. We can find and track three atoms, carbon, phosphorus, and oxygen. On each simulated day, we can find the atom tracker signs and read a description of what has happened to each atom since our last visit. Here we see an oxygen atom that is part of a water molecule in the leaf of a tree. And then on our next visit, we see that through photosynthesis, the oxygen atom is being released into the air as part of an O2 molecule. As students explore different days at the pond, they discover that on July 28th, all the large fish in the pond are dead. Through the inquiry-based curriculum, students work in teams to collect and analyze data in order to figure out what killed the fish. Once the students have collected all the data, they can use the graphing tool to compare different variables to help them create concept maps that explain why the fish died. Through an exploration of the pond scenario within this immersive simulated environment, students develop a richer understanding of complex causal relationships and ecosystems. The second move is modeled on a hardwood forest ecosystem, like those in the northern part of the United States. Students work in teams to visit two forested islands, Dover and Willis Islands, over a span of 50 years to see how the populations of plants and animals on each island change over time. As we explore the islands, the camera tool lets us take pictures of the organisms we find, and the field guide provides information about the organisms and food web relationships. The zoom tool lets us find smaller animals that are harder to see, like this oven bird and rabbit. We can also explore the diversity of organisms that inhabit a rotting log at different levels of magnification. The population tool lets us collect population data for the organisms on the island. The calendar tool lets us travel through time in segments of five years to see how the populations of different species change over time. To travel between Dover and Willis Islands, we take this boat. On Willis Island, we find the same diversity of organisms, but also a population of wolves. The data view lets us compare the population data we've collected about the two islands. 
As students explore over time, they discover that on Dover Island, as the deer population grows, the trillium and shrubs are disappearing, as well as ground birds that depend on the understory vegetation as habitat. Meanwhile, Willis Island shows the wolf and deer populations fluctuating in a predator-prey cycle and a continuing diversity of plants and birds. Students work in teams to collect data and create concept maps to explain their hypotheses about the causal relationships and changes they observed in the forest ecosystem.